Hi everybody, this is a dental assistant tutor and today I'm going to be going over how to make a custom bleaching tray or Essex. So this is a vacuum form and it gets really noisy um, when you turn it on. So if you're working on patients in the office, I suggest shutting the lab door. Now you just lift this up and they're all a little different. This one has a little handle that you just pull down and it raises it up. Some has one handle here, one handle here, and you lift it up. Make sure you don't burn yourself underneath this heating element that's right here. And then you take your sheet and you just line it up on the square that's right there. Some have a rubber gasket. This one does not. And you just lay it right there and then you lock it in place. And like I said, this one you go up like that. Now you're going to slide this over. So it starts to heat the plastic. I'm going to take my model of my lower teeth that is like a horseshoe shape. It's how you want to trim it on a trimming wheel. And I'm going to wait, I call it for a little belly. So there's like a little belly that comes down. And if you let it hang too far down, you'll get extra plastic in the anterior region and it will be rough to the patient's lip. So you don't want to do that. Plus it'll make it too thin if you make it too big of a belly. Um, not enough of a belly, then it's not going to vacuum form completely. Now it's starting to come down. You see the belly right there? That's good enough. I'm gonna turn on the vacuum form. Shut it off. Slide over. Shut off. Let it suck for a good 10 to seconds. And you shut it off. So you've already, once you hit that button, the vacuum form it, you drop it down. Drop it down low. No, you drop it down. You um, turn off the heat and slide that over without burning yourself. Stay in focus. While this is heating up and you're waiting for it to get that belly, you know, you're going to have to make sure you duck down, look for the belly, and also to make sure that um, you're not getting distracted and leaving it on. So always do the same thing every time you make it, and then you know you've shut it off. So you're going to do this, lift it up, don't burn yourself, it's going to be hot. And some have a spray that cools it off quickly. I never used it. Save the office money. Just run and eat some cold water. It comes out just like that. All right. Slide this back over. Now, what you're going to use is your crown and bridge scissors. And what I like to do is. I probably should run any cold water, but because I'm filming, I'm not going to. Plus, I don't really need a bleaching tray. This is just for video purposes. So I'm going to go, I'm cutting up the center, okay? And this is great when you're making retainers because that plastic's a little bit stronger. Um, there are different types of sheets for thickness. You can even make mouth guards. Once you have it like where you can pull it out, Seven out of ten times, chances are the model is going to break. But if it doesn't break, save it or give it to your patient. Some offices don't want to have an overload of material or models in their lab. Uh, or some keep them and charge the patient a smaller fee for the replacement if they lose these. So I've cut it out. When I pulled it out, now I'm going to trim it, okay? And I'm going to trim all the excess off. I was going to keep that heated so I can make another one, but I'm just going to do this one for right now. I like to make a video on how to make the mouth guards. 
So what you're doing right now is you're cutting all the excess off. Gosh. Now this is the same way you would make um, a temporary flipper for somebody. But what you would do is add composite to the front of the anterior portion of the tooth inside this tray. You would add composite right through here in the anterior portion of the tray. And then you would uh, light cure it and then the patient can use it as a flipper in the meantime. These are also used for surgical stents, for implants to guide the doctor where to place the implant. So you really need to know how to use the vacuum form. It's pretty simple. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut for a bleaching tray. You're going to cut right around the gum line. Okay. And go right where the gum line and the tooth meets is where you're going to cut it. Okay. On here. Some people take a pin and they trace it. They put it back on the model or before they even cut it. They put it back on the model. If you're just learning how to do it, I suggest doing that. But you put it back on the model and you trace it where it meets so it's not so clear you can see it better then you take it off and you cut around it but then if you're going to do that you got to use the alcohol to remove the ink spots or cut them off you don't want to cut too short because if it's a bleaching tray say you know eight and nine you cut eight a little shorter below the gum line well then it's going to show up um shorter on the tooth and then when they put the bleaching gel in it's not going to bleach that part of the tooth so and another rule of thumb is to take your finger once you're done cutting it and what you're going to do is feel it with your finger if there's any sharp edges if there is just trim it i'm just going round and round and remember, always have a name with the lab case. Now, this would be considered in office lab. So if you need to make a lab slip up, um, I suggest you just do it anyway, just to remind yourself to get the um, tray done. Um, most of the time you can have a patient come back in the afternoon and pick it up too. It takes less than five minutes to deliver a tray If you go over the post-op instructions and give them the bleaching gel at the first go around when you take the impressions, when they come back the second time, they just got to try the tray in, make sure it fits, and they can be gone. Anything to save time. There's times in the dentist's office that you rush, and there's times in the office you have to just slow down and trim. And it's time consuming, so, but the more you do it, the faster you get at it, you know where that line is. And it kind of gives you an imprint of that line, too, on the tray itself. Now, this is an old model of mine. Kind of curious if it's going to fit. And as long as your hands are clean, you're pretty much good, okay? Um, but when you give it to the patient and you're taking it out of the tray, either have it on a paper towel and say, go ahead and try this in if you don't want to put gloves on and they'll try it on. Or just get a pair of gloves and then hand it to them. Just never hand it, even though you made it with no gloves on, which is fine to do. Make sure you do that. Now I'm going to rinse this off real quick. And try it in. Huh. And it fits. Okay. So, pick it up. Oh. Let me show you, okay? So when you put it in place, you just 
Go like that for them, okay? You might have to show them if they're new at it, if they never had a bleaching tray. And you can also hand them a mirror and a paper towel because their fingers are going in their mouth. Um, next, what you're going to do is you're going to show them how to remove it. And you take these fingers and you just go up on the side. And push it out with your tongue. And then go rinse it off and put it in the case for them. Um, there you go. All right. Remember, for example, you put this on for whatever reason after it's gone in the patient's mouth. There's no reason to do that, but um, you would spray this with disinfectant. I'm just going to throw that out there in case there's any trolls out there who want to critique things. So that is how you make a fabricated uh, bleaching trays, add it to your resume, pretty easy to do. Let's just go over it one more time, okay? You're going to make sure the lab door is shut. This is considered an office lab. You're going to let this heat up. It's going to be over here while it's heating up because you do not want it to heat up the plastic that you're going to lift this up, place the piece of plastic in there like so. Remember, there's different thicknesses. Always check with the other staff members um, what your doctor likes. Raise it up. Put this in the center like that. Bring it over. Wait for the heat. Wait for the belly. Turn on the vacuum form. Boop. Flip that over. And drop that down. Or drop it down, flip it over, and that. Okay? Doesn't matter, no right or wrong. As long as you move that heat source over at some point and you drop it down right when it has that belly. Um, and then wrap these up or put them in a lab box and label them. And then if your patient, remember, needs a new one because the dog smells the saliva on it, or the cat, I've lost mine to a cat, um, they smell the saliva on it and they think it's a chew toy, and then they become missing. So um, keep that in mind. All right, guys. Um, that's it. I'm trying to think if a patient asks how do they clean them, they can just use some um, peroxide, rinse them off with, and clean them. Or I wouldn't soak them in mouthwash because it will change to the color of the mouthwash, especially if they have to wear them as retainers. Um, don't let them soak in mouthwash. Um, but that's it. All right. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope this helps you. Add it to the resume. Uh, fabricate Essex retainer, fabricate bleaching trays. The, one more thing before I go. The only difference between the bleaching tray and the Essex is that you're going to cut around each tooth for the bleaching tray so it doesn't get on the gingival. But for a Essex, you just cut straight across, one straight line, okay? Make it a horseshoe retainer. The reason being is a retainer has to retain the teeth where they have moved to. And that's why it's important for them to wear their Essex retainer. Um, and they have to wear it normally at the beginning for full time, and then it's just nighttime only, but it's up to the doctor. Um, but besides the point, you want to just cut straight across, place it in there so the roots, you know, don't move because it's covering some of the gum tissue, okay? Where the bleaching tray is not covering the gum tissue and it's going loop to loop to loop. I'll leave examples on my website. Um, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe and have fun whitening. Bye.